Hi everybody and welcome to Handmade Studio. I'm Cheryl Han Woodlock. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about tile nippers, what to look for and why you're going to use them. Stay tuned to find out more. There are a lot of tile nippers on the market and to know which to purchase is a really, really tough decision. My recommendation is to ask a friend to have a go of their tile nippers and then you can see for yourself. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a range of tile nippers that I have. I'm going to do a little quick talk about each one and then I'm going to show how they cut. All right, so this is a brilliant tile cutter. This is my favorite. It has, um, and this is from MD Building Products. So it's MD Building Products. They're American brand and I just absolutely adore these. I find that when you're doing a lot of cutting, you're your thumb can get really, really sore and your hand is not as strong. So for people who don't have really strong hands, this is an excellent tile cutter to work with. It fits nicely in your hands. It has a double mechanism. So when you're actually cutting like that, this gives double the strength at the head. So the system works really, really well and it makes it easy for good straight cuts. The next one I'm going to show you is from Bunnings here in Australia. It is a QEP 200 mil. I really, um, it's okay, it's not a brilliant brand. It requires a lot of strength. If you have a look at it, it has a single mechanism. So it actually requires when you're cutting, you're actually using your hand strength, whatever hand strength you have, is how you use your tile nippers. So if you don't have a lot of strength in your hand when you're cutting, this is not a great tile nipper. If you're young and you do have strong hands, this works really well. The only thing is that it is quite wide, so you actually need a little bit of strength to pull that in and hold it. For those of you who don't have a lot of strength, having a, an elastic band in here makes it a bit easier. And that way, the spring here that keeps on wanting to hold the handles out is actually going to be restrained by the elastic band. The first brand, these are so light on your hands and the system is so easy to open and close that it is easy to hold in your hands. You don't need a lot of strength to keep them closed. These require a little bit more strength to keep them closed because of this spring system here that is quite taunt and you need the strength to close it. So that is not a bad brand, they do work and they're around about $25. The next one I'm going to show you is also from Bunnings. It's from the same brand, it's a QEP, but it's a chisel head. It doesn't cut anywhere near as well. Also the chisel head, when I open it up, it actually doesn't fit in my hand at all. So it's not a great one for women to work with that have smaller hands. Also, the spring mechanism in here keeps it open and you've got to use a lot more strength in your hand. So you definitely have to have this elastic band sitting over it to hold these. So they're not going to spring open and they sit better in your hand. As I said, they're about $24. This is the chisel head, the QEP chisel head. My recommendation, stay clear, go for the just the straight tile nipper. So be aware that there is a difference between these two. All right, the last one I'm going to show you is one that I originally purchased around about 20 years ago. I still have them. They're very, very easy to cut. They're a red handle, so they're not rubber and they don't feel quite the same as all of this extra rubber in the hand. But they do work really, really well. They're a really nice cutting system on the head, which is really important. The other issue that these do have is they do open up fairly wide. So in your hand, you're going to have to put the elastic band in there to have them nestle in your hand nicely. The, um, they, the spring in this, often falls out. Um, so you 
this is a bit of a nuisance, but just keep popping the spring back in. And if you keep the elastic on it, the spring won't pop out so easily. They um, have a really nice edge and they cut really, really well. So if you get to see these, and I don't know where they are from anymore, purchase one of these and they're reasonably inexpensive and they will do the job. So if you're on a budget, these are brilliant. So I'm going to show you how these cut. This one is the um, American MD Building Products. At the code is SKU49943. Uh, so it's 49943. As I said, it has this really nice double system here. So when you're um, squeezing, it sits nicely in the hand. And when you're squeezing, it actually gives a lot more strength here through this system through there. So when you're cutting and you just pop that there, there is not a lot of strength that you need to do. And it cuts really, really easily and it cuts like butter. So I'm just easily nipping that. There's not a lot of pressure that I'm having to do. And you can see how small I can get these tiles. So this is a really good tile cutter. I'm not too sure of the cost, but this is one that I can highly recommend. This is the Bunnings Tile Nipper. It's the QEP 200 mil. As I said, it's got the spring system here and it just has the one, um, it's got the bolt here. So the pressure that you put on your hands is the same pressure that's actually going to cut the tile. So you need reasonably strong hands to use this. When you put it in, um, I can put it on the edge there and I have to work a lot harder to cut that tile. If you have a look at the cuts, they're not white as straight as my other my original pair if i put it all the way over it doesn't quite feel right when i'm cutting and you need to use a fair bit of pressure as i said when doing your smaller cuts it's not as um I wouldn't call it as um, reliable and the cuts are not going to be as consistent. So this is from Bunnings, it's around about $25. This is also from Bunnings, this is the chisel head when you have a look at it. It has a very different spring system to this one. If you don't have the elastic band on it, it actually doesn't fit in your hand. You need, you have to have the elastic band on this to keep that from opening up too far. Um, I find that when you cut with it, it for some reason it just doesn't cut as nicely. It is um, used I don't think it is, it says a tile nipper on the package, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's a chisel head, so when you're cutting with it, just be aware. It's okay for doing certain jobs, but it's not my go-to tile nipper for um, doing small little cuts, as you can see. It's just not cutting as nicely. It's um, more for if you want to sort of trim off your edges, it can trim off your edges. But as I said, there are better tile nippers. This is the chisel head QEP. So look, don't go for this one. I think you'll be very disappointed if you're a beginner. This little tile nipper is an absolute beauty. I bought it from Bunnings many, many years ago. I don't think they're available in Bunnings anymore. The only thing is that these do tend to pop out. The springs tend to pop out really, really easily. Um, the handles uh, haven't got the lovely rubber that all the other handles have. So these handles have lovely rubber things, but these do sit quite nicely. They're reasonably comfortable.
you do um, I do recommend you put the elastic in there and that way they will sit nicely in your hands but what I do love about them is they have a really good cutting system through the actual nippers area I've had these in my studio for 20 years they work really really well so when you use them, a little bit of strength is required, but not anywhere near as much as the QEP. These just cut really, really easily. There's not a lot of pressure that I've needed to apply. They're reasonably, um, they give a reasonably good cut and fairly detailed. They're also very lightweight in your hands. So these are an excellent product if you can find them. Uh, they retailed for around about $20 when I bought them. They're probably around about $25 now. But if you're on a budget, I can highly recommend this tile nipper. After watching all that, I hope I've made your selection of a tile cutter a little bit easier. It does depend upon how much you want to pay versus the sort of quality that you're going to get. Also, think about the strength in your hand. If you have a very strong hand, then you can afford to buy a cheaper product and it will work for you. If you have your uh, problem with your hand or your hand is not as strong and you want to cut fairly um, tough tiles, then you will need to go to another, to the top one, the first one that I recommended, the um, MD building product. And uh, that one is absolutely brilliant. So thank you very much for watching and staying tuned. I'm Cheryl Han would like to say bye for now. If you liked what you saw today, could you please hit the like button and remember to subscribe and ring that bell. I'm Cheryl Han Woodlock from Handmade Studio saying bye. Oh, hi, I'm just about to clean up. I need to give you a little hint. When you're cleaning up, don't sweep up your mosaics. The chances of you collecting that dust and flicking it into your eyes are really quite high. Also, if you have pets or young children around, they could get those little flicks of glass into their paws or their hands. So my recommendation, gently put what you've got into your bin. Grab your vacuum cleaner. Here it is. all the glass shards off the table. I can now put my hand on there and I'm not going to cut my hands. That's it. Thank you very much. I'm Cheryl Hanwoodlock from Handmaid's Studio saying bye.